Alright everybody, what is happening? This is Gaza back here with another video and today this is our Football Manager 2020 experiment video. This is episode 3 of the David Turnbull experiment. So we are now in the year 2030, five years we have simmed into the future and we're going to see how David Turnbull uh, is getting on if he's still at Motherwell and and yeah. So he's 30 years old now, uh, still not had a car for Scotland, but he's valued at 3.9 million, 6.25k a week uh, in wages, contracted until 2032. So he might possibly uh, continue playing for the club right through the rest of his playing career. Um, I think he's probably going to just continue to play for Motherwell from now on. So we'll start off with the 2025-26 season where we left, well, we left off from after the 2024-25 season. So the 2025-26 season, he also made 32 league appearances, scoring two goals, having eight assists, and one player of the match award. Uh, Continental uh, games, he had eight games there and uh, zero goals. So he must have done all 43 games in that season they played all in because he had three games in the cup as well. Uh, yeah, he's. He's probably, that's again another great season he's had, probably better than that. His average rating was uh, lower in that season compared to 2024-25 season. He's had, again, obviously more assists. I would say that he probably did have a better season. So then, 2026-27 season, he only played 24 games. Didn't score any, but had six assists and two player of the match awards. Probably, in a way, you could say it was another good season, but the only thing is he didn't score a 6.84 rating from the highest rating he's had uh, so far. Again, it's probably still doing alright in that midfield. Then the 2027-28 season, he played 33 times. Uh, no goals again, but three assists this time. No player of the match awards, um, but a 6.64 rating. So, not as good a season, but still consistently getting game time for Motherwell and did help and assist a few goals. So, in the 2028-29 season, he played 26 games in the league. Actually, at all in that season, he played 45 games. He did get a goal in the league because he played... 12 Continental games and 7 games in the Cup, which he scored in the Cup and in a Continental competition, so probably Europa League or the Europa Conference League 2 or whatever. Uh, and then the last season there, just finished 2029 20, 30 season, he played 32 games, scoring once and having 7 assists. Another great season from uh, overall. He's been consistently a decent player at the club and he's, let's see if he's had like what his milestones are. So he won the reserve league again. So he might have been playing in reserves as well at getting back to full fitness if he's been injured or whatever. So let's see his injuries because it, it looks like he could have had quite a few injuries in between then. Not big injuries, but he's had um, longest ones have been like four weeks and it was a hernia in training where he was off in weights. Uh, three weeks for pulling knee ligaments and the last one he had in the 4th of May 2030 was in a match against Aberdeen. It doesn't say what the cause was, but also would have returned from injury. 
So he is consistently a decent player for a midfielder. Um, his contract. Ah, uh, we can see the contract there. He's, he's done not too bad. What's actually. Before we get on, um, I want to see how. Uh, Alan Campbell, the Danny Welbeck is a mother manager, by the way. So Campbell, he's got some decent stats. He's probably Motherwell's biggest player at the point in this experiment. So let's go back to the 2025-26 season and see how Motherwell done in the league. And we'll look at their progress in like uh, the cup competitions and uh, European f competitions. So Motherwell... Came seventh, twenty twenty five, twenty six season on fifty six points. They could have actually finished fourth if it wasn't for the split. That is mad. Um, again, then the twenty twenty six, twenty seven season they came eighth, and they were comfortable anyway. From so they survived comfortably in the division, uh, and. They've done relatively all right in save. So the 2027-28 season, they finished fifth in the league on 56 points and qualified for the Europa Conference League, which respectable. They've got a European place. Uh, I'm happy about that. So the 2028-29 season, nine first time. Again, they were comfortable and not finishing bottom of the league, but again, there's only three points in it. Yeah, three points uh, in front of Hearts, uh, who finished the month, but did stay up. And then the, the 29 30 season, the season that it's just finished, Mother will finish fifth, and they got, had 52 points but uh, didn't qualify for any European competitions so the Scottish Cup so how is the Scottish Cup went in the because we haven't even looked at it it's pretty much been Rangers, Celtic and Hibs that have won the Scottish Cup Motherwell haven't even been to a final since the start of this experiment the League Cup, the known as Bed Freddy Cup, you've had Aberdeen, Celtic, Command, Rangers and Dundee United all winning it. St Johnson getting to a final there. Uh, and not really much else happening. So we'll go into Motherwell just now. Um going to schedule senior squad go back to that season oh Campbell had a testimonial um, so Euro group D hmm said Euro Cup oh know what it is I need to put back 2025-26 so Motherwell got into the Europa League and they dominated in that group at the top actually look at it they didn't really dominate actually they had a way better goal difference than anybody else in that group and they managed to go through to the next round. Let's see what happened. First knockout round. Celtic were in that. Second knockout round. Motherwell were put out by Monaco. 4-1 in the aggregate. A good run they had in that season's Europa League. So. The next see well let's see as well how they actually done in 
No, they didn't really um, get far in the Scottish Cup. So, done well in Europe, but finished in the bottom half of the table. So, 2026-27 season, how did they... Oh, they didn't play in Europe that season. 2027-28 season, they weren't in European competition. 2028-29 season, they, they were in Europe, so... Group A of the Europa League 2. Was it that? No, it was the next season. So they came third in the group in the Europa Conference League. So Inter Milan running away with the group comfortably. That's a Bertha Jerusalem uh, in the group as well going through, and Motherwell just couldn't. Uh, there were two points off it on. Fortunately, they didn't get through. Um, they went right through the qualifiers, played one field, won 8 1 in an aggregate. Maribor, don't even know the rest of that group. And let's see what they've done in 29, 29 30 season. Not much, to be honest. Uh, in Results were well in European wise, so really that wraps up this video. Uh, and when we come back in episode four, we're going to go to about 2033, so three years into the future again, and see what David Tumble's done. I know his contract's up in 2032, it's to see if he's either stayed at a club or moved on to another club. And then, when we come back in after episode four, in episode f we're going the last one at Motherwell will be episode five, um, and that's where we'll round up the experiment at Motherwell before we move on to doing the one at Celtic. So. Remember to comment, like and subscribe and thanks for watching and I'm signing out now.